In 2024, ASL restarted the Global Festival after a six-year break. The Global Festival featured numerous stands, each representing a different country or region, as well as the food and culture from that area. On Saturday, the 2nd of March, numerous parents and community members prepared their stands before the event started on March 3rd. My name is Azura and I'm representing Malaysia. So um, this is Australia and New Zealand, both countries. So this is the Nigeria stand and we're very excited to be representing Nigeria at the Global Festival. Okay, so we are working for Spain and you have got a paella and we're going to have ham, Spanish ham, uh, with pan con tomate, so it's uh, oh, yeah. bread with, it's very typical from Spain. And, and we are going to have uh, gazpacho. So a lot of animals um, and artifacts like uh, boomerangs, didgeridoos, um, those different flags, we also have the Aboriginal flag represented. So what we have in my stand is a lot of different ingredients from Malaysia. Um, a lot of what we eat um, in our culinary world is a fusion and mixture of Indian, Chinese and Malay cuisine. So I'm using some fabrics, some Ankara fabrics to sort of design our stand and just to bring the Nigerian culture into this. So what I have here are uh, some of the paste that we use. So in my country we use a lot of different curry paste. So we will have berry bread um, which is and chocolate crackles which are traditional at um, birthday parties and we'll also have um, twisties and pineapple lumps. It's a lot a lot of sweets, uh, food, not savoury, so it's, I always tell people to go and get a savoury food and then come to us afterwards. Um, I wanted to be represented here. Um, I, I think um, there's a couple of kids from Malaysia, but I also love food and I think yeah. it brings people together. I've actually been doing this for years, probably my seventh time that I've done it. Yeah. Um, and I just want to make sure that Australia and New Zealand are represented yeah. because there's not many of us yeah. um, actually at ASL anymore. We are so excited. We cannot wait especially to try all the delicious food that everyone's cooking. And we're so happy to see our whole community come together. When did we start planning? In the fall, September. right? September. September, I think yeah. we've been... We've been, We've working been back and forth since September. And tasting. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I think it'll be every two years. Correct? Yes, I think the, the 2022, because of COVID, couldn't happen. Yeah. Uh, so I think this is since 2018, this is after six years. Yeah, yeah. You know, this is coming up. So yeah, we're quite excited. It's a great way to highlight how many countries we have and nationalities, cultures in our yeah. community. We have over 50 countries. This is the biggest ever from what I've heard, Global Festival. And we, we work very hard to make this this big. <laughs> Well, I watched a lot of performances and I ate a lot of food from different countries and I thought it was really interesting to see everyone come together and share a little bit of a part of their culture. Uh, well, right now I'm helping run the photo booth and there's a bunch of different countries that you can choose from. There's different backgrounds and there's props. And basically you just come and take pictures with your friends and family. No, so I was in the last Global Festival. Now there's a lot more activities, like we didn't have the photo booth. There's a virtual reality, which we didn't have last year. So yeah, there's a lot of really, there's more like activities this time, which is great. I really like the different performances, um, the musical and the dance performances. Yeah, I really like those a lot. Seeing the different styles of music and dance, yeah, it was awesome. I really enjoyed like uh, the Korean um, barbecue, like barbecue chicken. That was really good. Um, and then also like the massive gum from the Lebanese stand. Um, there's like a lot of people here, um, a lot of different countries, and I, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. I've enjoyed the food and the cultures around us in the school. Yeah, I went to one in 2018, and that was my first one, and it was really fun. Um, and no, I think this event is a lot bigger than some of the other global festivals events I've been to. I think it's definitely a whole school-wide thing. So. 
I mean, I personally came for the food. Um, it was incredible food. I, I ate everything. I, I'm going to explode, I think. I might explode. But I've been teaching here for 24 years, so I, I think I've been to all of them. I think everyone really went all out this time. What do you think? You were here before. Um, I thought it was uh, better than the ones I've been to previously. Um, and the food was, you know, really delicious, but uh, I guess... I don't remember if there was that many countries in other previous years, but you know, it's, uh, it's definitely very well thought through and uh, the layout is good, you know. Amazing. Yeah. It really was incredible. Uh, so first of all, like all the community came out. So I feel like we had high school kids here, students, middle school students, lower school students. We had parents from, you know, all the different grades. We also had some alums I saw showed up. Uh, we sold 1,700 tickets. Food was amazing. I don't think I need dinner tonight or maybe not even breakfast tonight. So. Uh, well, I saw, of course, the middle school, high school musical, which I really appreciated. Um, I also saw the end, they had the can-can. But the student performances for me were the best. So my previous school, we had a global festival a couple of times. Uh, we didn't, it wasn't as large as this, uh, because we didn't have that, we didn't have people from 50, families from over 50 different countries, or at least come in and do what we did here. Uh, let's see, but uh, my, my first overseas school, I worked at Taipei American School, and this had a lot of same feel to it. Like yeah. lots of tables, lots of different food, uh, people from around the world kind of bringing in and bringing really great food. Like in my, all my old schools that I've been to, there's always been a sort of global aspect, like a global night, a little festival. So I think it's really fun that come to what the ASL is doing as well.